Dear all, welcome to my YouTube channel, Agri Business, a journey. Every time students ask me, sir, how to prepare a business plan? And every time I say to them that before preparing a business plan, first you should plan your business. It means uh, you should understand your organization first. If you can visualize your organization in proper way, then it is easier for you to draft a business plan. Business plan doesn't mean that as it has been communicated to the student that uh, business plan means it is a step of 15 steps, 10 steps, 12 steps. Numbers of uh, books, it has been highlighted business plan in the line of different type of the modules, different type of steps, you have just followed that. In my perception, if an entrepreneur will follow the step, then definitely he or she could not create its creativity. Or he or she may be more concerned about the step rather than he or she must be concerned for the new creativity and innovations. So forget about how to draft a business plan before that you should understand the business or you should understand the organization first. So in this contest, I have been going to give some lectures regarding about the organization and in the end, I will say that how to draft a proper business plan to get more and more fund from the investors. In this contest, you all know that an organization uh, is just like a pyramid structure. As you grow top of the organizations, then definitely members, managers are less in number and in the base level, you will find the more managers who are directly connected with the customers. In this contest, uh, I just find, found from different type of the literatures, there are five M are directly or indirectly connected with an organization. 4M are more connected in the input side, or you can say that 4M are those factors that impact on an organization. And 5M, that is the market, who is not under direct control of the organization, but it decides the fate of the organizations. When I am highlighting about man, then man is not a single entity. You connect the man in the line of socio-economic parameter of the human resource or you can say that socio-economic parameter of the man itself. Socio-economic parameter means it may be its gender, maybe its education, literacy, caste, class, income status, Maybe that man will come from rural sector, that man may be come from the urban sector. Different type of the variables, those are connected with the man, that will impact on the organization. If the man will be more skillful, you will find a different features or different scenario for, for in your organization. Or if the man is unskilled, illiterate, then you will find the different scenario in your organization. In the same contest, you will find the material. When you think about the material means it is the raw material. Material means some of the suppliers are there who are directly or indirectly connected with the organization for giving the raw materials. Or you can say that materials means you need a long term relationship or short term relationship with the supplier for getting the raw material. You may go for the vertical integration, Keretsu network, virtual network for getting the raw material from the suppliers. When you get the raw materials at, at a large volume, then you may get the discount, but ultimately it increase your inventory cost. When you take less raw material from the supplier, then automatically no doubt your inventory cost will be reduced down, but, but another cost that is the operating cost will be increased. Materials may be connected in the line of volume by weight. When volume is higher than the weight, then 
we expect that your organization should be near to the production center that's why you will find more and more rice mill nearby the paddy centers more marine fisheries those in the sea belt you will find the more processing industries marine processing industries cotton processing industry nearby the cotton sugar processing industry nearby the sugar cane whereas you will find the where the weight is quite higher than the volume just like the glass industries diamond industries definitely your industry should be near to the market it means only just highlighting about the material the things will not solve you have to bifurcate the material into different type of the parameter then analyze it in the connection of the machine you all know that when you start an organization definitely you think about the scaling up when you thinking about the scaling up you have numbers of choices either you go for the outsourcing you depend on the ancillary industries or you buy the machine but when you buy the machines you invest more and more cost or you go for the higher purchasing giving some rentals go for the higher purchasing and use the product of the another or you can go for the licensing of the technology or the, or the machines which are higher more more connected with the patent or intellectual property right you are using the product of another person then definitely you give some licensing fees to them means to say that you have numbers of choices when you just thinking about a machine into consideration in the line of method you know that there are in in india and china african countries where the population is quite higher then the labor cost is very less then you have a choice that whether you use the hand driven method or you are using the technologies when you are using the hand driven methods then definitely cost will be less you have some flexibility but when you have the machine driven or the technology driven methods then ultimately uh, you are going for the scaling up that's why in the agriculture system you will find more and more mis micro irrigation systems nowadays though laborers are less available or the wage wage rate is little bit of the higher one nowadays we are moving more towards the or shifting more towards the machine based uh, system of agriculture production towards the precision agriculture drone all these things are coming nowadays in the line of market or in the line of organization organization means you all know that there should be some structure without structure there is no organization organization means there should be some objective here i have highlighted about the strategy objective means if you are a very aggressive manager your objective is how to increase the profit how to increase the revenue how to increase your market share how to increase your market growth but you have a conservative manager you always thinking that my objective for my organization is that how to minimize the cost how to increase the efficiency but whatever there should be objective and there should be structure but organization could not run without an human resource though we are highlighting about nowadays we are thinking about a driverless car but still the chances or the the percentage of that part is very less organizations definitely need some staffs or human resource for delivering their best when you are thinking about the market you all know that either the market if it is a product based market then it will be 4p product price place and promotion and if it is service based industries then another 3p that is the people process and the physical evidence decide the product and services that has been coming from the organization itself product means either it is the variety of products features of product branding of product price means it is more connected to discounts allowance credit loan different type of the pricing strategy are there place means how you channelize your product where you locate your product how much percentage of the market has been covered by your product promotion you all know that it is connected with the promotion mix from starting of the advertisement to sell promotion to personal selling to direct marketing everywhere you need some promotions to create the positioning of your product in the mind of the customers numbers of times in the service industry product has been connected with the people you all know that it's a very common example that the gujarat government is highlighting 
their uh, <coughs> their tourism sector in connection with the the mega star amita bachan amita bachan highlighting that kabhi to gujarat to aao the same person was also be connected with the polio marketing or polio do bun zindagi ka it has been highlighted by the amita bachan itself it means if person's brand value is quite higher then you can connect the product with the brand value of the person then you have some advantage from the need recognition identification to the customer satisfaction suppose you are going to procure a product from starting of the parking place to buying the product and leaving the place everywhere a customer need to be satisfied so everywhere where the customer is moving on you have to identify their need their interest their satisfaction if you can do that then repurchasing of the customer will be increased customer will come to your organization regularly and when you thinking about the physical evidence nowadays tangibility has create more transparencies suppose you are highlighting your product either through either through some catalog or through online procurement systems or your organizations give some pleasure or space to the customers to sit and consume its products that tangibility part also creates some positive positioning about your product and services that increase the customer uh, repurchase activities and the behavior in subsequent basis whatever i have highlighted every where you will find some permutation and combinations permutation combination means something has been hampered if man will be illiterate matter quality will be poor machine is not perform well price of the product is higher target audience you not handle the target audience in a proper positioning of the human being then everywhere you find some risk how we have to handle that risk i have to highlight in my next video stay tuned stay in my videos how to understand the organizations in a more clear and clarity way thank you all thank you all watching my video thank you